Click the link down in the comments or in the description to get your free motion offense ebook. I'm giving you something very quickly now that I was able to get from uh, a friend of mine who coaches in, uh, in Nebraska. And he, uh, these are, this is a system that's run called the wheel. And it's a system for four perimeter players and a post player who really has more face-up skills and really not a back-to-the-basket player. I'm going to give you kind of their spots. And we'll just talk about it qu uh, quickly and I'll, I'll answer some questions. Now we start off in role identification here. We want to take our best shooter and we want him on the right wing. So we'll say Byron right now is the best shooter. Okay, he's gonna go foul line extended, okay, two feet here set behind the three point line. Okay, our first big guy that can run the court is gonna run to the front of the rim. Okay, our best ball handler of the other two guys, okay, I'll say you are, just so we can change the size of the group. You're now going to be the player who will have taken the ball out and inbound the ball to the point, to the point. Okay, so the way it's played is we take the ball out here, and let's have you take it out. Let's put you right here at the elbow. Let's get you to post, but we're still here. So let's get you right here at the three-point line, and we're here, and we're right there. Now, this was terrific because this is the way we ran offense last year. I had four young guards. We put four. We, we put ourselves in these positions. And this is the way we played most of the season other than running the specials. At a, at a, uh, we'd run stacks and other things off calls. We would look to get the ball in now. If we had trouble getting the ball to our guard, we'd bring up post and try to get him the ball right here. Okay, when we would get him the ball here because this guy had been denied hard. Okay, and ball's back there and they're doing a good job of keeping this guy from getting it, you're trying to get it, we throw it there, okay, and we bring him right to the middle of the court to get it, or we'd run him right behind, okay, and run this guy right here, right behind it, looking for the ball, and we would bring the ball down to play, and now we would go to the spots, okay, we would get to spots. So now we're bringing the guy to the front of the rim, this would be, we're bringing it to here, we want to attack this area all the time. We're looking to attack this area all the time. Our other player is behind the ball, and he is, this is attack player number one. This is attack player number two. This is best shooter, okay? This is best post. This is the player who could be, could be your second guard, it could be your third player, it could be your second big man. But in order, this is your primary ball handler, second best ball handler, best shooter, best post, and you can fill the fourth spot, who which with ever player happens to fill that spot. Last year, my guy here varied according to my lineup, okay? But it was normally the fourth perimeter player was in this spot. Now the ball comes down, and the rules are very simple. The wheel is gonna move in this direction all the time. We're gonna bring the post guy down, and if he doesn't get the ball as we bring the ball down the court, he comes right here, and he plays short corner and he turns and plays right here. So he's got knees bent, and he's always ready now. This is where his man is gonna be. So he's always ready now with his man to wind up doing what? Yeah, and now he has that chance to attack from behind. So he's always ready. He's always watching to see on help when he's helping at midpoint when he can make an attack from behind. So he's always sitting right there. Okay, so let's get you back there. But he's always ready to go. Our guard is looking to bring the ball down. Okay, he's looking to bring the ball down and attack a gap and kick to shooter so shooter can play. Or throw back to second ball handler and cut through or replace over there so that the second ball handler has a chance to attack. So we'll just make that first pass, the guard forward pass, and we just go through. So he's got it back. Now we just make the guard forward, just make that pass, and just cut through looking for the ball. Replace, replace. Now, when you cut, you cut baseline. You cut baseline, you can use him. Okay, so you come through here now. So it's like the it's like circle, it's run like running a circle. You just run him, you're running him through. Now you had a live situation to play. Okay, live situation to play. If you make an attack and you come to a stop, okay, based on how this guy helped. Right there. What are you going to get? Get a jump shot. My second leading scorer this year was a kid, six foot six, weighed 185 pounds, who had games against really good big men 
20 points because he was always shooting 13 to 15 foot shots. Best offense player has a chance to go. But as Byron goes, okay, and comes to this jump stop, you're spotting up for your shot in the corner. You stepped out, you went behind him. Exactly. Because now, if you make that return pass, go away. Okay, slide a little bit, replace. And we're back to the wheel again. The wheel is moving with the post guy out. Okay, now, you can run off this. You've got the opportunity to go. If you don't like anything that happened, you make that pass. Okay, you're cutting through. Use this side off your dribble and drive it right now. Okay, drive it in here. Come, by, come in behind him. Slide right up. Okay, and we're in that same situation again. Now, moves that you make off this, you change the direction of the pass. Okay, if I come down and my first pass, let's get back to our original spots. I want to get it to that second ball handler now. So when I get it to second ball handler, I make a couple of things. Here's my diagonal cut now, okay, right into the corner. That allows you now, okay, I'm coming through and coming out. Byron stays right there. That allows you now great chance to drive middle. You want to get two feet under you. We're trying to get to the elbow area. If you draw his man, he's looking for the catch, okay? In order to make this guy a more effective player, you do two things over here with your best shooter, okay? You do two things. Well, let's get back in the spots again. We come down and you drive right at him. Back door. Okay, when you dribble at him, it's always a back cut for your best shooter. Second thing you do is you bring him down and you just say to him, button hook. Okay, that means go to the box and turn around. When he goes button hook, anytime he goes in a button hook, you come right up here. That's a, a jump shot on the foul line for your post guy. So anytime you button hook your shooter, you're going to get a jump shot at the foul line, and that guy always winds up taking one good step of help. The other one to call is to come down the court, and I want to get my post guy a shot. So we've been running this simple cut, all right? We've been running this simple cut. So I got, Byron's got that ISO over here now, all right? There's no help. I stop making my cut now. I come right in now, and I set a screen on Byron's, on the post guy's man. Foul line jump shot, okay? I continue to go out, all right? So I set a screen. Once a game, we just come in, and instead of circling, we just pin him. We run this guy right in here to get it, or he comes right in here, curls, and he gets a chance to make a, an individual move in the post, okay? Uh, another one we call, okay, is the back guy's number now, okay, we call this, the, uh, call this X, we come down the court, and I throw this pass. When you look at this, you may be very surprised at how effective this. is. I just make this pass, and I just set a little bump screen right now, go, okay, and we just run the second ball handler right through, now I step right back to get it. And now you're circling, you're up, and we're back in it. And how about this? We're off the same offense. I come down. I come down. I look at Byron now. Okay? Throw the ball there. I set a screen on his man. Go. Use it. I'm back out again. All right? And the other one which we do, bring the ball down, is we bring the ball down, we throw it here, and I just cut underneath him. Okay? That fades you out. Okay, you'll slide. And now, look where we are again now. Middle of the court to go. You got the whole middle of the court to go. Byron is going to hold this position. Man turns his head. He's got a back cut. Or you can come around behind him now. Okay? So, the, it's four on the perimeter. The post guy is always out. We're continuously looking to drive it. And eventually, you get this. Okay, eventually you get this. The ball has been on one side of the court. The cutter is gone. Let's, let me get you behind. Okay, I went through. You replaced. You replaced. We finally have a reverse. Okay, where the point guard's involved in the reverse. We get it in here, and now ball comes to this side of the court. Now you can go turn and post him for the first time. Okay, when we throw it in here, you dive right to the rim, looking for it. Okay, Byron, who's the shooter, slides right to the spot right there. Okay, and what happens now is Byron's man always stops and helps. Okay, if he's a good defender now, on that cut from here, he's taking a step in. Our post guy now looks to kick it right out there, and our play is on the perimeter exchange. Okay, exchange, and what we work with this kid do every day is our kid in the post is not a back-to-the-basket player. So every day he takes his looks, and the next thing he does is inside pivot and face now. And now, because everybody's playing, he just plays one-on-one -on -one from that spot.
okay? Last thing to do is to get Byron a shot. We just come down, okay, and we've already backdoored Byron, we posted Byron, and now we're just going to chase Byron to the other side, and we're just going to run him right off your screen, and we're going to quickly reverse the ball. Great zone move. 2-3, two, 3-2 three, three, two zone is to send Byron hard the other way. Bring it down. Okay, replace, replace. Quick swing. Got to swing quicker. Okay, now we get him on the weak side of the floor now versus the zone, and now we're in a situation here where goes in the post, run your split, run your split on the perimeter, you dove right to the rim, okay, and here comes our other guy up for the shot, and we play off that. Now that was a, if you get a chance to watch Pepperdine play this year, that's a system that the coach is going to run at Pepperdine. We ran it last year. The, uh, one of the teams won a state championship in, in, uh, in uh, Nebraska. A friend of mine uh, is a coach out of uh, uh, a school in... Uh, Omaha, and they won a state championship using this system. We used it last year with sophomores. We didn't significantly score more points last year than we had the previous year, but we had a very young team. But it was, and I'll explain why I think it's very effective. It's very effective if you're a team that makes the other team have to play defensively. We put a lot of pressure on the other team. This is very difficult to play against because bigs have to chase around small players. It fits us having four kid perimeter players. I'm basically going to play four guards and, and one kid who is more suited shooting those jump shots. My, my kid who played in the post me got a Division II scholarship off just being able to step to spots every day and just make those little jump shots, whether it was the, you know, when the, when, it, when the ball is here, just the drives. Now, one thing that also happens, which I didn't show, is when the ball gets to this side of the court, okay, and if I throw the ball here, my cut is always opposite corner. So if I got the ball and we'll say Byron had gone to the corner, you happen to be in the shooting slot now. If I give you the ball, okay, I'm through. I'm cutting away, leaving this, and then there was a replace, and it was movement. So I'm going through, so there's movement. That gives, during that movement, there's a great opportunity for your best player when you swing it to give him the ball here off the screen. He's got the shot. He's got the drive either way, and the post kid has a step, chance to step out. So when we'd run this last year, and we'd say, all right, let's get Miles, swing it to Miles, reverse it to Miles. My best shooter would get it here. Somebody would close on him. He'd drive it middle, or he'd drive a baseline, and a post guy would step out. The taller the post player, the more shots your kid gets because he just can't get back to his man. Okay, and that was the only one other thing now. So I think it's a, that's a pretty good system. I love all the formations because I saw all those formations work. You know, I saw things like, you know, I run the shallow once a game. We get in those stacks. We run the stacks against zone.